Hello and welcome to News Epicenter with me Ayushman Singh Jamal breaking news coming in this is in connection to the Kerala gold smuggling case we're getting exclusive details from the enforcement directorate now as per sources the enforcement directorate has filed a rejoinder in the supreme court against the kerala government these are the details we're getting in as we speak remember the enforcement directorate had sought the transfer of the trial in the gold smuggling case from kerala to karnataka claiming a free and fair trial is not possible in kerala we have exclusively accessed the rejoinder affidavit the ed says that the state machinery turned against the agency when the role of the principal secretary came out now let's get you the details of the affidavit as per the enforcement directorate sabotaging the probe will vitiate the fairness in the trial now that is what the rejoinder of the enforcement directorate that is what the enforcement directorate has told the court now it also says the state machinery has been misused against the agency and its officers it also says interference of the state was arbitrary and unfair It also says there is a clear attempt by the high profile accused to influence the case the agency also says that the accused have made false and frivolous complaints that's the big piece of break news coming in when it comes to the entire Kerala gold smuggling case when it comes to the in- the investigation of the enforcement directorate now pointing a direct finger at the state government in Karnataka I'm joined by my colleague Ananya Bhatnagar uh, who's getting us this big piece of break news this is a scene and news 18 exclusive ladies and gentlemen Ananya give us the details decode for us the enforcement directorate's argument Well remember that the enforcement directorate had knocked the doors of the top post court of the country seeking a transfer of the high profile Kerala gold smuggling case and now uh, another rejoinder affidavit has come in from the enforcement directorate opposing all of the impeachment applications and the counter affidavits that have been filed by various accused into this particular case and also importantly the state of Kerala now what the ed has to say in its uh, affidavit clearly is the biggest charge that the enforcement directorate the central probe agency is making is that as soon as the name of m siva sankar the ias the former a uh, principal secretary to the chief minister of kerala his uh, name came up into this particular case the state of kerala stopped cooperating with the central probe agency and in fact tried to thwart this particular investigation tried to influence the accused and the witnesses into this particular case which is very very clear from the various statements of the uh, the police constables who were actually used in order to thwart swapna suresh and other accused person into this particular case and we have seen the discrepancies in the statement and the enforcement directorate's affidavit also goes on to say that if at all this probe is not transferred from kerala to karnataka then what will happen is the investigation would be sabotaged the probe would be thwarted the accused would be influenced and the investigation's purpose to deliver justice would completely go out of hands and in fact that's the reason why the enforcement uh, directorate is actually seeking for a transfer of this case to karnataka remember that various high profile names also of the chief minister of kerala's uh, uh, somewhere or the other connection is coming up into this particular case and the enforcement directorate is leaving no stone unturned in order to complete its investigation and to bring out fairness into this particular case remember that swapna suresh too is an accused into this particular case and the enforcement directorate goes on to say that all of these witnesses can actually be influenced they they can be uh, thwarted and the investigation into this particular case can be completely derailed if at all this probe stays in the state of kerala and that's the reason why this should be transferred to karnataka aishman right thank you ananya for getting us that big piece of breaking news so the enforcement director knocking the door of the top court of the country claiming sabotage by the kerala government we'll continue to